Now let us first of all see the condition of India in the phase of industrialization till 1750. Now here in India there were lots of people who were involved in trading, manufacturing that is in the phase or process of industrialization. There were people like merchants and bankers who used to finance all the activities. That is they were the people who used to give money so that the process could actually continue. Then they were supply merchants who used to carry the finished goods that is they were like a connection between the port towns and the inland regions. They used to carry whatever the finished product was to the port and then the port had brokers who used to negotiate with the supply merchants and they used to buy the goods from them. You see once again though the goods have been manufactured of course we understand but who are the people behind this manufacturing the bankers and the merchants who are giving the required funds. Then we have the supply merchants who pick up the goods from there and take it to the port. At the port the people who are sitting are the brokers who will negotiate with this uh, supply merchant and then finally the goods get dispatched off. But this system collapsed in India after 1750. Now as we saw in Britain that the condition of the workers had become very very pathetic. But in India we have to look at the same angle as far as the weavers are concerned. The weavers here actually lived in miserable condition after the Britishers set in.